Pretty much never. <laughs> no, just don't let her get back in that corner. Action, do me a favor. Take that big blanket and stuff it in that corner. Just so if she jumps down there. <laughs> maniac. Vicky, Vicky. You're so stupid. Rescuers discovered her Saturday along a creek suffering from hypothermia. Amazing story. Uh, U.S. Special Forces are aiding in the search for a fugitive warlord. Joseph okay. Coney, a 100 man unit, has been deployed down okay. Central Africa to aid a group of Ugandan soldiers. The head of the Ugandan Somebody Forces, Coney's group, jump. is weakened and on the run. Coney is notorious for taking his prisoners to become his Aye. soldiers. He and his two senior lieutenants face war crime charges. I mean, she walks with her ears and she like Gay scans the ground with her ears. Election year. Stick around, we're going to tell you about the new goal for an LGBT Vicky, Vicky. group. Plus, the commander in chief, Polly well, turns comedian in chief at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. If you stick with me, you're going to hear and see some of those highlights. Vicky. And today, the new skyscraper being built at Ground Zero in New York City marks a major milestone. Vicky. Come here.
back, everybody. Yep. 2012 went May mark a milestone for the gay and lesbian community. More out okay. LGBT okay. candidates okay. may be running for political office this year than ever before. The nonpartisan group Next Gay and Lesbian one, Victory right. Fund has already backed more than 100 candidates. And expects to double that number yeah. heading into November. Yeah, species, right? Joining me now is Dennis Dyson, Vice President of Communications yeah. with the Gay and Lesbian. No, don't Victory. start. Dennis, it's great to have you here this morning. Uh, I think a lot of people would wonder, does this look like to change? Not only in American attitudes, but a step forward, Which electing those who truly here. represent an underserved oh, society. Should probably in that corner. It, it really does, and it also gives us uh, results, uh, it, as you've seen in Maryland and in Washington, where they have uh, six and eight uh, openly LGBT members of their state legislatures. They finally were able to pass marriage votes. So it's not just seeing ourselves in government, but actually getting things done so they get elected. Uh, Congressman Barney Frank, yes. they were so, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. this year, Mr. Watson, yeah. for his first seven years yeah, 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 yeah. in the House. Did he truly pave the way for a new generation of LGBT politicians who didn't have to hide their true identity, don't have to hide to get elected, they can be authentically who they are and be proud of it? He did. Uh, he's one of my personal heroes uh, for that very reason. Um, she ever got out of the way ever. Nope. She's gone forever. No way in hell you would catch her. Uh, what do you do? Would you leave it the camera there on the um, record? So when we talk about the inroads that have been made, Dennis, for LGBT, the community itself, politicians uh, do I remain in the closet, so to speak, and they do get like elected. It's like four feet high. <laughs> <laughs> what a psycho. Neither branch of Congress will only have two openly gay Republicans serving. Yeah. Vicky, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, mommy. Come here. Come here.